<laughs> it's... Yeah, I thought it was uh, a lot of people recommended this documentary, and I'm glad we watched it. Yes. Well, it's kind of sad because uh, when when the question is asked, was it all worth it? I mean, if the answer is yes, you say yes, yep. and uh, you don't he think didn't about answer. It. No. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably the reason he, I mean, I don't want to speak for Mick Foley right here, but, I mean, it came across to me like, it's not really a yes or no answer to this question. Yep. Was it worth it? Well, I'm sure there were many aspects of it that were worth it. I mean, he largely did retire at 35. He got to spend an exceptional amount of time with his family after that point. He made a ton of money. I mean, he got to live his dream. He got to become a superstar. He got to get to the top of, you know, they, they, somebody on the thing was talking at some point about how, you know, Mick Foley, you know, if you, he would get very upset if you didn't believe in him because he believed in himself. He believed that he could go all the way. So if you didn't believe that he could go all the way, it would be upsetting to him. So there's obviously that aspect that was worth it to him. But as he gets older, and he has physical maladies, and he has to quit jobs that he loved because of, of lingering issues, and the issues are probably going to get worse. I mean, as his life goes on, there's going to be more aspects of it that, in fact, he's going to think it wasn't worth it. But it clearly is not a yes or no question. I mean, it's a yes or no question, but it's not a yes or no answer. It's, a, it's complicated, as they would say on facebook or whatever but i like the documentary a lot i thought it was great one of the best ones that they did uh there were certain aspects of it that were glossed over but again it's it's a two-hour documentary or whatever yeah uh you can't tell his whole story you're gonna have to skip over things obviously they're not gonna talk a lot about impact obviously they didn't want to talk about that wrestlemania return the whole he had the greatest retirement he was so about. happy with his retirement. Yep. And they brought him back because they needed a McMahon in every corner. Correct. That's why he had to come back. He didn't want to do it. They offered him a lot of money. Of course, he thought about his family. This is probably also mixed feelings. I'm sure he regrets part of it, but not the money part that he did for his family. But anyway, it was a very good documentary, and I highly Recommend it. Uh, Mick Foley comes off as a very sweet, sweet man by the end of this thing. And I've done some research, and uh, Royal Rumble 99 is on the network, and all 15-plus chair shots to the head are on... Dandy. Yeah. So, yeah. if you want yeah. to get... Wow. Yeah, it's it's brutal. There, there's a very, 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 very short list of human beings who have been as successful in pro wrestling as Mick Foley and are better people than Mick Foley. There, it, it may be a list of zero, actually. Sure. So, yeah, um, I wish nothing but the best for him. And uh, I, 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 it's hard because the, the, the show, I mean, the show ends on an honest note and honesty is not always happy. Um, there, there's the point... Um, the show has no bullshit. There's things that are glossed over, but there's like a, it's a hundred percent bullshit free. They talk about how Vince didn't have faith in him, how they had to to convince Vince to to, to hire him. Vince hired him only so he could fail. It's not always a pretty picture about what happened here, but it's the true story. And for the purposes of telling a good story, the true story is the best. Well, you'll all be happy to know that Mick Foley will be going on tour. If you go to my Twitter at Brian Alvarez, I've retweeted it. The Nice Day Tour returns in September. He's got a lot of dates, actually. It looks like almost a dozen dates in September alone. Springfield, Peoria, Burlington, Davenport, Waterloo, Buffalo Grove, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can go check out Mick Foley. Just head to my Twitter at Brian Alvarez or, obviously, at Real Mick Foley. He's only got 1.9 million followers, so maybe give him a follow if you haven't already. And uh, check it out, but uh, there you go. What's going on, Vinny? Look who's in studio here today. It's me. We're doing a retro 2005 show here today. This mic that I'm using right now oh, no. is the same microphone that I used for IATA. I am wearing glasses because when the show started in 2005, I was wearing glasses and not contact lenses. Livid. Steaming mad. mad. Got the guitar behind me right here because uh, I hit you with the guitar in that picture we were looking at. I enjoyed it because I got to eat more hamburgers. Me. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.